Hello, Chef here, and I've got yet another recipe to share with you, as well as some tips for kitchen safety. So follow along, and here we go. Okay, here we go. So I'm working with chicken today, and Mr. Purdue had these on sale, so I thought I would score them. What do we got here? Chicken thighs, yes. When you're in the butcher shop or the market or the poultry farm and you're scoring chicken, ask them to double bag it. You don't want chicken juices leaking out all over the place. Uh, the reason I'm using the plastic cutting board is because it can be uh, run through the dishwasher and scrubbed and soaked and all that and I don't want to damage my beautiful uh, hardwood cutting board with my awesome cleaver. Yeah. Okay, this is a cleaver like you've never seen before because this one is razor sharp. It's got a cool red handle. This was a gift to me. You cannot buy this cleaver uh, anywhere because it's no longer made. Very cool. It's a nice gift. I really like it. So if you want to buy one that's similar, triple riveted handle and even the uh, really cool knife guard like this right here. Uh, these knife guards are available at the sponsor which is right there and the knife guard protects your fingers and it protects the cleaver uh, so you can transport it or store it in your drawer. Really cool. I like it. So anyway this is a very very sharp cleaver. I'm not even going to touch the edge because I've hand honed it. I know how sharp that baby is right there. It's got a nice balance and all that but this is a a meat cleaver. It's got a blunt edge on it that's sharpened but it's not really made for vegetables or anything. It's, it's for cutting through bone and uh, it's a light duty cleaver, medium, medium light, not super heavy but if you need one check out your sponsor there. They got them. Alright, I'm gonna get rocking on this chicken and show you uh, just what I'm doing here and how to do it. Uh, this, by the way, this was thighs and they were on sale, uh, I don't know, it was like 59 cents a pound or something like that. Yeah, good deal. So I grabbed them and I'm making a chicken stock. Some might call it a bone broth. Follow along. When I work with a lot of chicken like this, this is 10 pounds of chicken or more. I like to wear these disposable gloves. It's another layer of sanitation and I'm not going to spread germs all over the place. By the way, I'm using a large stock pot. This is uh, like a, a 10 quart or 12 quart. Uh, we're going to put some cold water in there. Once we get enough water in there, we're going to get that going on the burner and uh, work on this chicken. So first of all, you want to uh, start with, with each piece. Uh, before we get into the cleaver, we want to use a boning knife and there's a few reasons for that. Number one is you have a little more control and you want to remove some of this extra fat. You don't need a ton of fat. I'm going to reserve it to the side. It's going to be used for something else. But for my, uh, my, my chicken stock here, I want some of the fat. And I'm going to line up these chicken thighs like this. I'm going to leave some of this fat on here but not all the fat. Okay. I'm going to line them up, uh -huh. and I like to work quickly. Notice uh, I'm moving right along here, okay? Yeah, just like that. All right, looking good. Okay, once we got enough water in the pot, get that baby on the burner. And uh, we're going to be putting this chicken in here rather quickly. All right, so I like to line them up like this. And I'm using the cleaver to release extra flavor from the bones. Hope you're paying attention here. This is a free cooking lesson. If you were my student, I would probably be a little sharp with the ones who aren't paying attention. And by the way, no cell phones in chess classroom. No, no. If you're wondering in the car, no cell phones allowed in the All right, we line up the chicken. We've got the bones. Uh, all facing the right direction here. We'll give them a whack, just like this. 
Okay, I'm going to go right through, and you can see what I've done there. I've uh, released some of that awesome flavor out of the bone. Just like that, okay? And a little practice, you're going to uh, get the control that you're looking for and how hard you want to whack them. Uh-huh, just like that. Nice. Okay, I'm going to repeat and get through all this chicken and release all that flavor, and then I'll be back. You get maximum protection and you still have a full range of movement uh, with your hand and the, and the fingers so it's pretty cool and this is made in the USA I like that great quality okay chicken goes right in the uh, the water which will be boiling very soon and we're gonna let it simmer at least at least 45 minutes or an hour I'll be back okay I'm all done with that awesome cleaver as well as the butcher block and everything's been cleaned and sanitized and now I'm back to my uh, my chicken here so I'm gonna be putting a few things in here today it's a lot of chicken so we're gonna put in a couple of bay leaves we're gonna put in a generous amount of uh, pink sea salt. Uh-huh. We're going to be putting in some uh, whole peppercorns. In this particular case, I'm going to be using the, uh, the black ones right there. Whole premium black. Yeah, this is the good stuff. So we got about 15 peppercorns going in there. Okay. And uh, last thing, I like to put in a stock like this would be uh, maybe maybe some uh, some thyme is going to go in this one. I'm just going to put in about a, a teaspoon of thyme. Okay, and now I'm going to let this come to a boil and then uh, reduce and simmer. Uh, of course, if I had fresh herbs, I'd be putting some fresh herbs in there, but. Yeah, this time of year I don't have any fresh herbs. So, uh, please check it out. I'll be back with more. And uh, we'll be finishing up this stock in just about an hour or so. Make sure to click that little subscribe button right down there. It lets us know you like the video and it lets other people find the channel. Uh, and it uh, makes my big finger relax once you click the button. Okay, uh, I'll be back. We'll finish this one up here real soon. And don't forget your sponsor where you can score the blocks, the cleavers, and all of the cool things that the chefs are using in the videos. That's a really, really nice cleaver. I'm just going to hit it with a... Uh, uh, fine sharpening steel to bring that edge back just a little bit. After about 30 minutes or so, your broth will come to a boil and you want to use a ladle and skim off the scum, we call it. You want to skim that off the top. Uh -huh. Several reasons for that. I won't get into all the details. However, if you subscribe to the channel, you're going to continue to learn more tips from the chefs. Yeah, good tips. These are going to last you for a lifetime of cooking pleasure. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're skimming the scum off the top here. Just like this. as well as a little bit of fat. Oh yeah, smells really, really, oh, look at that sizzle. Yeah, and you heard that in the background. So I'm actually cooking another dish at the same time, multitasking. If you want to learn about this chicken garlic dish, subscribe to the channel and just search some of the uh, recipes and you're going to find some awesome stuff like this. Yeah, this is going to be really tasty as well. 
a little bit of pepper in there, uh-huh, a little touch of uh, smoked paprika, uh-huh, oh yeah. Okay, I'm back. It's been about an hour. Now you can check the, uh, the chicken to see if it's tender and falls right off the bone. Just use a pair of tongs and you can see that real easily it's falling apart. So you know it's done. At this point we use a stainless steel bowl and we remove some of the chicken from the broth. Yeah, and we let it cool off. I'm going to let the chicken cool off, use the stock for an awesome soup, and I'm going to peel some of the meat off and add it to the finished soup. So this is the end of this video. Please tune in and check out our other videos. Search soup on this channel. First you subscribe right down here. Once you subscribe, just put in soup in the search engine and you'll find all kinds of recipes. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to videos and I'll be back with much, much more. Keep cooking and have a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. Stunning Butcher Block, made to order and shipped direct to you. Free shipping, no tax, you'll love it. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Keep cooking. Yeah, like, share, subscribe, keep this channel going, and uh, you're the chef's friend.